a lush strip of green, a bit of paradise on the riverbanks of the heavily polluted Nairobi River. What was once a dump site is now a small park. The project to transform this area was initiated by former gang members, some of whom have served time in prison. Now their efforts have drawn some extra support. Sam Dindi is an environmental activist with a lot of experience. He's here to help organize a river cleanup on a much larger scale. Basically on the, on the environmental aspect, environmental aspect, on reparent, understanding what the reparent ecosystem is, how to, to restore it well, and also the human aspect. How, how are they, as a community, how are they supposed to, to work together as a team? How are they supposed to, what kind of efforts are they supposed to put together in order to restore this river? Dindi is passionate about environmental protection. He often visits schools to talk about nature conservation. Why should we keep environment clean? We should keep environment clean to prevent? Dindi has helped these children to plant a garden in the schoolyard. I love caring for environment. I love, even when I come in the morning, first I water my tree there and it's okay with me. When I water my tree, it's, I feel well. The green activist has worked with over 10,000 school kids around Kenya. To bridge the time when he can't be there to teach them, he has created an eco-magazine. Published quarterly, it's available free of charge. So for those other four days of the week or five days of the week, they used to be alone. So they requested me for a material that they could use, they could use for reading. For reading and for just to develop that interest and nurture the knowledge in the environment. But in order to reach an even wider audience, Sam employs another powerful medium, music. <laughs> He co-writes songs and produces studio recordings with young artists. I decided to sing about trees because they are part of our environment. They are important to our lives. We need them like we need air, like we need water. So I looked at it and discovered it has a message, and it was unique. So it's better to be unique. The songs have been performed at a variety of environmental events. One of them won an African Rhino Conservation Award in 2013. The biggest breakthrough still remains this Kifaru Takupenda song won, winning an award in South Africa during the Rhino Conservation Award. It, it made Africa realize that besides the songs, the folk songs that we used to do, every other songs, we can also produce environmental theme songs that can be accepted by the society. Back to the green project by the Nairobi River, Sam Dindi has come up to help supervise another riverside cleanup. The park is already the cleanest, greenest part of Korogocho, a slum area in the Kenyan capital. But Sam Dindi's vision is much more ambitious. My motivation is to see, is to bring back the Eden, the land that Kenya was a beautiful country. If you come back to a school or an area which, has, which is green, then a green environment is a, is, a, is a stress buster. That's what I call it. So we are stressed in Kenya today. We are stressed in Kenya today because our, we don't, our environment is so polluted. It is so deforested. We have got nothing to be proud of. But that can't be said of these people here in Korogojo who have taken responsibility for the environment into their own hands and created a mini Eden on the banks of the Nairobi River.